want you to sit back, take notes, and listen because this is a strategy portion that will help you play par threes in different situations on the golf course itself. Today we happen to be on the eighth hole at Heather Glen, and you can see the back left of the green is further away from the tee and it moves towards the front right which gets closer. The issue is here, the trees on the right hang out so it would cause you if you're on the right side of this tee to have to work your way more around the tees. I have positioned myself over here on the left side of the tee box to be able to have a straight view at the flag and to be able to hit a nice little cut shot into that front right. I've got 190 yards. We have a pond in front. We have bunkers, deep bunkers in the back, pot bunkers, and one on the front left. So right here, being able to stand here, I can get my line, my target in front of the ball so I can spot aim to be able to hit my shot clearly at that flag. If I was over here to the right, I would have to work on trying to work the ball more into the flag, where here, I've got a straighter shot right into the flagstick. So here we go, 190 yards, little downwind, slightly downhill. Wow, that worked out pretty good. When you get to the tee, look at what the positions are and what's in front of you. You don't want to put yourself on the right-hand side like we talked about here where the trees come in, they kind of get in the way and you feel like you're having to work around them. Come over to the far left-hand side, it opens up the hole, you can see the pin, the trees look like they're well off to the right, and Lord knows in the low country of South Carolina, you get trees in your way a lot. So try to get yourself in a position where you don't even have to think about them. All you have to do is try to execute your shot, try to make your birdie, and at least get out of here with a par. Mm -hmm. 